What do you see? I see a half-eaten Pop-Tart. You gonna finish that? No, over here. Look at this painting and tell me what you see. I see what I think is a frosted Dutch apple Pop-Tart. They haven't made frosted Dutch apple Pop-Tarts in years, so either my eyes are playing tricks on me, or you've been eating breakfast from the Reagan administration. Forget about the Pop-Tart. Can I have the Pop-Tart? If I give you the Pop-Tart, will you shut up about the Pop-Tart? I'll eat the Pop-Tart. Take the Pop-Tart. Thanks for the Pop-Tart. Oh, it, it's raspberry. Okay, I take back everything I thought about you and your Pop-Tarts. So what do you want me to look at? This abstract painting, what do you see when you look at it? Hmm. Come on, tell me. Oh, I'm not your guy in this one. You don't want to know what I see. Yes. Yes, I do. Your perceptions are valuable. You matter. Your interpretation is what makes art worth creating. Really? Really. Okay. Uh, here goes then. What? What do you see? I see a bunch of Pop-Tarts. <sighs> we are done. Seriously, look right there. That one has sprinkles, and that one has frosted cinnamon. Or maybe it's a seagull looking oh, a light bulb. Just forget I ever asked no, 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 you. It's, it's a Pop-Tart. Just finish the stupid hey, I, I'm Pop-Tart. I'm sorry. You want to know what I see, and I see Pop-Tarts. Find out what happens when a 50-something unemployed bartender living in a trailer park locks horns with a New York art historian over what may or may not be a priceless Jackson Pollock painting. Don't miss Bakersfield Mist, playing at the Helmet Playhouse, July 21st through the 23rd. With strong language and adult themes, Bakersfield Mist pits two very different people from two very different worlds against one another amid a fiery debate over class, truth, and what we personally perceive as valuable. Visit HelmetPlayhouse.org today and get your tickets for Bakersfield Mist. So, you want to fracture some fairy tales, huh? I think you're going to need a little help. I think you're going to need... Wait for it. The Stinky Cheese Man. And the Stinky Cheese Man is going to need a little help from the White Lake Youth Theater. So guess what? The White Lake Youth Theater presents, wait for it, The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales at the Helmet Playhouse, July 28th through the 30th. Chicken Little and the Gingerbread Man as you've never seen them. And some of White Lake's best and brightest young stars as you've never seen them. All coming together for an all-ages show with music, witty narration, and plenty of laughs to go around. The Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly stupid tales at the Helmet Playhouse, July 28th through the 30th. Don't wait for it. Visit HelmetPlayhouse.org and get your tickets today. Maybe you come to the theater for the music. Maybe you come for the acting. Or maybe you come to the theater to see a new light thrown on our past. To see the pieces of our collective history, our common thread of humanity, sewn together into something that is both familiar and altogether different. And maybe, just maybe, you come to the theater for all of these reasons. If so, then you must come to the Howmet Playhouse for Quilters, August 4th through the 6th. The common thread of quilters is a pioneer woman and her six daughters, but the stories they weave together with music, dance, and drama take many pieces of pioneer life and bring them together in a touching, breathtaking fashion. Quilters at the Helmet Playhouse, August 4th through the 6th. Get your tickets today by visiting helmetplayhouse.org. Hey, what if Sherlock Holmes hadn't been, you know, English? What if a person who never really existed had not pretend been English? Was that English? Just making sure I understand the question in case this goes to trial. I'm just saying, what if he were from somewhere else? What if he did something else? Sherlock Holmes from Bratislava. He is a pipe fitter with the local 45. <laughs> yeah, like that. Kind of loses something, don't you think? Well, maybe he's a dentist from Cermak. Is he still Sherlock? Uh-huh. Sherlock from Cermak? Yeah. Yeah, no. One of the most endearing and enduring characters, Sherlock Holmes comes to the Howmet Playhouse for Sherlock Holmes, The Final Adventure, August 11th through the 13th. 
With Dr. Watson by his side and Professor Moriarty lurking in the shadows, this exhilarating adaptation by Stephen Dietz is filled with all the trappings we have come to expect from the world's greatest detective. Danger, intrigue, wit, humor, surprise, and perhaps a bit of romance. You do not want to miss this all-ages performance of Sherlock Holmes, The Final Adventure, August 11th through the 13th. Order your tickets today at helmetplayhouse.org. On Golden Pond, the timeless story that escalated the already legendary careers of Katherine Hepburn and Henry Fonda. It's a story that nearly all of us know, and it's a story perfectly suited to draw the final curtain on the summer season of this magical centennial year at the Hallman Playhouse. Running August 18th through the 20th, On Golden Pond is, at the heart of it, a love story. A love story between Norman and Ethel Thayer, to be sure, but a love story between the audience and the actors as well. For 35 years, this tale has been part of the American fabric, just as the Playhouse has been part of White Lake for 100 years. For Ethel and Norman, Golden Pond has always been there for them. For White Lake, the Playhouse has filled the same role for all of us. Please join us for this very special performance in this very special year. Order your tickets today at helmetplayhouse.org. A lot can change in 100 years, no doubt about that. But there are a few magical places tucked away on the golden shores of memory that stay the same for 100 years. It's rare indeed, something to cherish. The Howmet Playhouse in Whitehall is one of those cherished places, and 2016 is year 100 for this building that is oh so much more than brick and mortar. From the 1916 premiere of the Frank Adams production Michigan with Marie Staples to the annual Summer Theater Festival, the Howmet Playhouse has been home to song, dance, laughter, drama, and community. A community working together to bring in some of the best and brightest stars and a community working together to shine the light on its very own. The performances have been different, to be sure, but the venue has been a constant for those of us lucky enough to have visited White Lake and those luckier still who have called it home. Maybe all the world really is a stage. Maybe we are merely players with our entrances and our exits. But for those of us connected to the Playhouse, we have celebrated on the same stage for 100 years. And the curtain is just about to open on 100 more.